that. When I do live streams, a lot of penetration testers come in to the live stream and they help me out. They get me over humps. They look at the things that I'm not looking at and it's all good. During this time, though, they ask me, what do I look for? How do I catch the red team? Is it better to be a red teamer or a blue teamer? And I'm, I just want to say, why not both? Why do we separate ourselves when one feeds perfectly into the other? For me, I take a Mr. Robot approach. I'm going to be blue in the day, so I'm going to hunt, 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 and I'm going to hunt till my eyeballs fall out. I'm hunting at 9 o'clock. I'm hunting during lunch. I'm eating the rat and hunting. Before I leave, I'm hunting. And when I come back, I don't hunt at all. By training red every night, I can peek into the red teamer's playbook and say, oh, this is what y'all doing. All right, got it. Then in the daytime, I go back blue and say, all right, this is what we're going to do. Boom, boom, boom. Penetration testers can do the same thing. You can penetration test in the morning. At night, you come into your lab and you hunt yourself. You run your brute retails or your cobalt strikes or your PowerShell empires or your covenants or your slivers and you see what stands out. You look for stuff like that and you say, this is unique to cobalt strike. I don't care how much you change up your profile. This is unique to cobalt strike. This is unique to brute retail. How do I randomize this static theme that makes me stand out and you need to follow that methodology to a T until you completely are hit until until people like me can't catch you now I know you know this channel as a red teaming channel as a hacking channel as all of this Cali Linux stuff and hack the box stuff but don't get it twisted don't get it mistaken I'm a bona fide threat hunter to the heart well, you penetration testers out there i just gave you the blueprint i just gave you the way to be great i just gave you the way to achieve a higher standard among everybody else you work with and you should be thanking me right now and you should be liking the video and you should be subscribing if you're a penetration tester and i'm going to give you one more thing a beginner's guide to threat hunting